Hello students, hope you are doing well. So in this lecture, we will see the concept of nested class in C++. So as its name suggests, any class that is declared inside another class is known as a nested class. Okay. So this nested class is also treated like a member of the enclosing class. Okay. And it has the same access rights or you can say it has the same access mechanism okay as the other members okay as we are accessing in our earlier program as we are accessing the members of the class in the same way we will access the members of this inner class okay so there are no special access rights okay that are given to this outer class member functions to access these inner class members okay so we'll see this with the help of a small program okay so this program will be a logic that will develop the concept of a nested class so in this we'll just take two variables and we'll see that how these variables how the access mechanisms of these variables will take place okay so in outer class we'll just take a variable let us suppose okay we are having uh, the variables like a name and you can say a roll number of any student okay so i'm just taking a name string Okay, string name as a variable or you can say a member of this outer class okay so this outer class this is also known as an enclosing class okay this is also known as an enclosing class because it is enclosing in itself the another class and we'll just declare okay we'll just declare the inner class like any member okay so we'll just write public Okay, this is one okay this is one aspect that how we can use the inner class okay we will see the another as aspect in the subsequent lecture so public like any member okay we'll just create a class and we'll just name it as inner okay you can you can name it anything but it the name should be such that it resembles that we are working with outer and inner concept okay so this is now this is an inner class this is an inner class we are declaring okay so now inside this what we have to do we have to declare okay we have to declare a roll number so i'll just write rolln okay and this is private this roll number is private and we'll declare a member function also okay so that access mechanism should take place in a similar way as it is taking so inside this will take a uh, function that is set okay r o l l okay so there are two things that we have declared inside this first is the roll number that is the data member and second is the function okay that is the member function so here we'll define the function okay like we have to ask c out enter okay enter the roll number Okay, so we'll just asking the user to enter the roll number and we'll just reading it in okay rolll so with the help of the console input okay with the help of the keyboard we are just reading this and we are just saving it in a variable that is rolll okay so the next step is now what we have to do we have to okay we have to create now this task has been completed okay we have created a class and we have created the member function and we have also created the data members of it now the next task is we have to create okay the member functions of the outer class also so when where this this is the point okay this is the point where this inner class inner class completed okay this inner class declaration has been completed here and now here we'll just as we are writing we'll just declare a member function as public of the outer class so this public is for the outer class okay we are because we have created a member that is name so for this name we are just creating a member function the member function is void set name for example okay so this is a same way in the same way as we are creating a single class we are also creating this nested class okay so this this is this inner class is treated as a member itself okay of this outer class of this enclosing class so now 
this class definition also contains okay so we'll just define it okay so we'll just ask see out enter the name enter the name okay we'll just ask for the name and we'll just read this in a get line okay get line scene comma name so i hope till this point it is clear so the the next task is we have to show the name also okay we have to show the name so what we'll do we'll just write void show okay name so we'll just write void show name and inside this we'll just write see out okay see out the name is and we'll just okay give a tab here and it says the name is name in the same way okay we also have to create a method that is show roll number inside the inner class so in the same way we have to create a method void okay, show r o l l inside this inner class and we'll just write c out okay slash n the roll number is and we'll just give a tab and here we'll just write r o l l okay so the definition part for both okay setting and displaying the data is completed in both the classes now the next thing is that we have to declare a main and we have to create an object okay so if i just create an object like inner okay this is inner and let us suppose the object is io okay and outer okay and object is let us suppose ot let us see okay this is the inner and this is the outer o is capital here that's fine so now what we have to write we have to access io dot set okay the name is set first condition is set r o l l okay that is the first function that we are accessing okay so this is s c t r o l l as you can see here and the second is show r o l l okay so next is i u dot show r o l l okay so this one completes the next is we have to access o t dot show first of all we have to set the name set name and next is we have to display the name that is ot dot show okay show name so this completes let's try to okay build this and check for any errors okay so i think there will be some errors okay because i have committed okay in the logic some errors and it will be displayed subsequently to you okay so here you can see okay at line number 39 it says that inner was not declared in this scope okay and io was not declared in this scope so as okay as you have created okay you have created the class and you have also created it as a public member but it says that its scope is okay not declared because this inner class is a part of the outer class okay it is a part of the outer class so the scope must be provided it has to be provided that what is the scope okay the scope of this class is the outer class so we have to provide the name of the outer class okay outer followed by the scope resolution operator so this scope resolution operator it tells that this inner okay this inner class belongs to this outer class and now we can create an object of this inner class okay so now let's try to execute this so you can see the error has been removed now okay so it says that you have to okay you have to provide okay you have to provide the scope of the class you have to provide the scope of the class in which 
it is enclosed okay so this inner class is enclosed inside outer class so this outer class must be mentioned here okay so it says that this inner class is a part of this outer class and with the help of this coposition operator we have just created an object of this okay so now let's try to execute it and after executing we'll just see it's asked for the roll number so we'll just write roll number for example any arbitrary we just take 30 okay and here you can see it has skipped okay you can see the that it has skipped okay so how we will just rule out this condition that this skipping condition is okay overruled so what we have to do we have to use a function that is ignore function okay so where when we are okay reading this set name okay so before this you can just write scene dot ignore okay so it will just okay it will just skip that particular okay buffer kind of thing that is being stored with the help of that scene dot ignore function okay so again we'll just compile and we'll just try to execute it so we'll just take a raw number 50 and it has just okay skip that particular part now the buffer has been cleared now it is asking for the name so i just write the name as ajay bakshi okay so this is the name and here you can see it has printed the roll number as well as the name so if you want to show okay if you want to read one by one so just do one thing okay so this roll number just okay remove from here and you just put it here okay and again we'll just try to compile it okay so the roll number 60 okay name is Ajay Bakshi so you can see the roll number is 60 and the name is Ajay Bakshi so in this way okay this concept we will okay implement but there is a problem here okay the problem is okay this this concept is fine there is no problem in this concept but here you can see that we have declared this inner class okay we have declared this inner class as public so if we have declared this inner class public then we can directly okay create the object of this inner class outside the main with the help of the enclosing class and we can access the member functions okay with the help of the object of the inner class but what if this particular class okay if we just write okay this particular class inside this and if this particular class is declared as now private so if you try to execute this surely it will be okay it will generate an error okay now it has been declared as private so now you can see here it says that class outer inner is private within this context okay and if some okay some student okay tries to declare okay this class is private or this data member is private in order to okay invoke in order to provide security to the data or to implement data heading concept then this particular okay logic okay of creating the you can say the object of the inner class inside main will not work okay so to to okay to you can say correct this particular concept we'll have to okay see the next concept that how this condition will be okay overruled and how we now just create a class in which we declare the inner class is private and we can access the members of the inner class okay so we'll just see it in the subsequent lecture okay thanks